नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम सो इन इट्स ए वीकली वेदर ब्रीफिंग वेयर वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट वाज द रियलाइज्ड वेदर ड्यूरिंग प्रीवियस वीक एंड व्हाट इज द वेदर फोरकास्ट फॉर द अपकमिंग टू वीक्स एंड इफ यू लुक फॉर द लास्ट वीक देन मेजर सोनॉप्टिक सिस्टम्स वर ए साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन वर सीन ओवर द नॉर्थ ईस्ट असम ड्यूरिंग द थ्री टू फोर डेज ऑफ द लास्ट वीक एंड ओवर द साउथ ईस्ट अरेबियन सी इन केरला ऑल्सो ए साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन वॉज सीन ड्यूरिंग थ्री टू फोर डेज इन द प्रीवियस वीक एंड a trough also runs from rajasthan up to the coastal and pradesh uh, in the one day of the previous week and uh, today is a, a trough also seen a shear zone also seen roughly along 8 degree north latitude over the arabian sea and bay of bengal and in the previous week a low pressure area formed on 22nd over the southwest uh, bay of bengal which uh, uh, concentrated into the depression by 24th morning and this depression intensified into a cyclonic storm uh, by by the evening of 25th may and further this cyclonic storm intensified into the severe cyclonic storm by the 26th may morning and this severe cyclonic storm moved nearly northward towards the bangladesh coast and this severe cyclonic storm rimal crossed the bangladesh coast uh, uh, during the night night uh, night uh, time of the 26 may around uh, around 10:30 pm till 0030 uh, uh, am of 27th uh, uh, may with the speed of 110 to 120 kmph and thereafter this uh, uh, severe cyclonic storm weakened gradually into a cyclonic storm by 27th morning and further into a deep depression over the east bangladesh by the night of 27th uh, june so if you look for the uh, uh, rainfall activity then because of this cyclonic Uh, storm rimal the heavy to very heavy rainfall was reported over the gangetic west bengal mainly on 26 and 27th of may and heavy to very heavy rainfall over many parts of the assam meghalaya mizoram and tripura was reported during uh, 27th till 29th of may and even the ex- extremely heavy rainfall was also reported over the meghalaya on 27th of may 28 and 29th of may and heavy rainfall was also reported over the sikkim and arunachal pradesh and over the south peninsular india because of the cyclonic circulation over the southeast arabian sea heavy to very heavy rainfall was reported over the some days over some days of the previous week over the kerala and isolated extremely heavy rainfall was also reported at one or two days over the kerala and over the remaining parts of the peninsular india mainly the light to moderate rainfall was reported over the previous week and over the east india also only light to moderate rainfall activity was reported we can see that in this map heavy to very heavy and extremely heavy rainfall was mainly confined over the northeast india and adjoining parts of the gangetic west bengal and eastern parts of the bihar because of the cyclonic storm rimal which moved across the bangladesh which affected entire northeast india parts of west bengal and bihar and sikkim area and over the south peninsular india the major rainfall activity were confined in the previous week because the a cyclonic circulation was confined over the southeast arabian sea and over the kerala during the many days of the previous week on 20 fourth up may have to very heavy rainfall was reported over the kerala and coastal karnataka on 25th very heavy rainfall was reported over the andaman nicobar island on 26th the heavy rain very heavy rainfall was reported over the gangetic west bengal assam and meghalaya and on 27th up may meghalaya and tripura reported extremely heavy rainfall again on 28th and 29th also extremely heavy rainfall was reported over the meghalaya however the very heavy rainfall was reported over the adjoining parts of the assam and if you look for the rainfall activity then the Uh, country as a whole uh, uh, received the 20 mm of the rainfall in the previous week, week against the 16 mm of rainfall which is about 27% uh, above normal and over if you look for the uh, entire season wise then from 1st of march till 29th of may country as a whole received uh, 125.8 mm rainfall which is 20% above normal rain above normal rainfall this map represents the rainfall dist- rainfall activity during the previous week as we can see that major rainfall mainly over the northeast india and south peninsular india received the above normal rainfall activity however over the east india and oh, most parts of the plain northwest india received the below normal rainfall and oh, in the entire season the uh, plain from northwest india and many parts of the northeast india which are given in the red color received the below normal rainfall however over the central india and uh, entire the western coasts and gujarat state received the uh, above normal rainfall activity in this season 
in the previous week uh, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions also prevailed over the more many to most parts of the punjab haryana delhi west uttar pradesh rajasthan and many parts of madhya pradesh and some parts of the gujarat region northern parts of madhya maharashtra vidarbha and jammu division and himachal pradesh and uh, in the previous week the warm night was also reported over during the many days of the week mainly over the punjab haryana uh, delhi uttar pradesh rajasthan and madhya pradesh and if you look for the days wise then the in the last week uh, haryana delhi rajasthan and west madhya pradesh experienced heat wave to severe heat wave condition during during entire week however over the west madhya pradesh gujarat region jammu division punjab himachal pradesh and vidarbha experienced the heat wave to severe heat wave conditions during 5 to 6 days uh, uh, in the last week however over the eastern india only one or two days experienced the heat wave conditions and maximum temperature wise on 24th of may the highest maximum temperature over the country was reported over the falodi in the west rajasthan which was 49 degrees centigrade similarly on 25th of may max highest maximum temperature over the country was reported over the falodi which was 50 degrees centigrade on 26 may 49.8 degree centigrade temperature was reported over the falodi and on 27th of may again falodi reported the highest maximum temperature over the country which was 49.4 and 28th of may highest maximum country uh, temperature over the country was reported over the churu which was 50.5 degree centigrade and uh, yesterday highest maximum temperature of 48.8 degree centigrade was reported over the rohtak and alahabad and if you look for the rainfall forecast for the upcoming two weeks and firstly if you look for the southwest monsoon then the <coughs> today the southwest monsoon has uh, set in over the kerala and it covered most parts of the kerala some uh, it, it it uh, some parts of the uh, tamil nadu and it also covered most parts parts of the north eastern states and today the southwest monsoon has covered some more parts of the south arabian sea some parts of the southeast arabian sea some more parts of the central bay of bengal and north east and east central bay of bengal we can see this is in this blue color line up to which area the southwest monsoon has reached and the environmental conditions are also favorable for further advance of the southwest monsoon mainly over the some more parts of the uh, central arabian sea some more parts of the bay of bengal remaining parts of the comorian area uh, gulf of mannar some more parts of the north east and east central bay of bengal remaining parts of the north east and states and some parts of the sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim and some more parts of the tamil nadu during next 2 to 3 days and if you look for the today's main chief synoptic features then over the northeast india a cyclonic circulation lies over the northeast assam in the lower and middle tropospheric levels over the southeast arabian sea a cyclonic circulation can be seen in the lower and middle tropospheric levels and over the northwest and northwest uttar pradesh a circulation can be seen and over jammu and kashmir a western disturbance also can be seen in the middle tropospheric levels and uh, over the south arabian sea and south bay of bengal roughly around 8 degree north a sear zone uh, can be seen in the lower and middle tropospheric levels and because of these synoptic features uh, uh, in the upcoming week that is mainly during 30th may till 6th of june major rainfall activity will be seen over the most parts of the north eastern states many parts of the peninsular india and some parts of the eastern india and and some parts of the uh, uh, jammu kashmir and himachal pradesh and these rainfall uh, uh, will be mainly above normal over the north east india tamil nadu some parts of the south odisha south chatisgarh and northern parts of the coastal andhra pradesh however Uh, over the coastal karnataka and coastal areas of the maharashtra these rainfall activity will be below normal and over the rest part of the country the rainfall will be normal and in the if you look for the heavy rainfall warning then the heavy to very heavy rainfall activity mainly over the arunachal pradesh assam meghalaya and sikkim will be seen during next 4 days till 2nd of june and on 3rd of june the rainfall activity over the north eastern states will gradually reduce and however the heavy rainfall will continue over the region and even and today once again the extremely heavy rainfall is very likely over the meghalaya so we have issued the orange alert for the meghalaya red alert for the meghalaya and orange alert for the arunachal pradesh assam and sikkim area for the next 3 to 4 days over the peninsular india mainly the very heavy rainfall activity is likely over the kerala and today and thereafter the heavy rainfall will continue over the kerala till 3rd of june and over the 
interior parts of the interior parts of the Karnataka and over the Tamil Nadu heavy rainfall activity will start from 1st of June which will continue till 3rd of June and over the Lachadip area also the heavy rainfall activity is likely on today and over the Andaman Nicobar Islands heavy rain, rainfall will be experienced on 31st uh, second uh, 31st of May and 2nd of June and if you look for the second week then major rainfall activity in the second week that is um, mainly during the 6th of June till 13th of June will be confined over the Pen South Peninsular India over the entire North East India and mainly over the coastal areas of the uh, mainly over the uh, coastal areas of the western India and uh, light rainfall will also be seen over the interior parts of the Maharashtra, Odisha, Jharkhand, uh, uh, Bihar and Chhattisgarh and however Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana uh, these areas likely to be dry in the week two also Jammu Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh will uh, experience light rainfall activity in the week two and this rainfall activity mainly will be below normal over the north eastern states over the coastal areas of the Maharashtra and Karnataka and these activity also will be below normal over many parts of the eastern India however over the plains of northwest India and the most parts of the central India this rainfall activity in the week 2 will be normal if you look for the heat wave forecast for the week 2 then in the week 1 major the heat wave to severe heat wave uh, 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 activity will be confined over the entire northwest India and adjoining parts of the central India and some parts of the east India uh, during uh, during next 3 days and over the east India uh, the, this, this, there is a low probability of the heat wave conditions which, uh, which will prevail, <coughs> prevail during the entire week and however in the week 2 there is a moderate rate probability of the heat wave condition mainly over the Bihar, Jharkhand, eastern parts of the Uttar Pradesh and there is a low probability of heat wave conditions over the western parts of the Rajasthan, central Uttar Pradesh and remaining parts of the Bihar and Jharkhand. If you look for the uh, week 1 tem maximum temperatures then in the week 1 the maximum temperatures will be in the range of 42 uh, to 45 degree centigrade over the many parts of the Rajasthan, uh, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and 44 to 45 degree centigrade great over Bihar, Jharkhand, uh, some parts of the uh, interior Odisha and these maximum temperatures will be uh, above normal by 4 to 5 degrees centigrade over the entire mainly over the Odisha, Jharkhand, uh, Bihar and eastern Uttar Pradesh and these temperatures will be below normal over the uh, most parts of the central India and adjoining parts of the peninsular India and in the remaining parts of the country these temperatures likely to be normal. If you look for the heat wave warning then heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over the many parts of the entire northwest India adjoining central India uh, will be uh, uh, have been experienced today and these heat wave conditions uh, will gradually uh, uh, reduce from tomorrow however heat wave to severe heat wave conditions over the some parts of the northwest India will be seen and tomorrow also however from the first of June only heat wave conditions will be seen over the eight one or two places over the Punjab and Haryana however over the Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat region Vidarbha there will not be any heat wave condition because the maximum temperatures are very likely to fall by 3 to 4 degrees centigrade over the entire northwest India similarly over the eastern India also the heat wave to severe heat wave conditions have been realized over the most uh, many parts of the eastern India and today and tomorrow over the eastern India also the heat wave conditions will gradually reduce however over the some parts the heat wave conditions will continue to prevail and from 1st of June only heat wave at one or two places will be experienced over the Bihar, Jharkhand and Odisha but from the 2nd of June <coughs> the heat wave will be completely away from the east India as well because the maximum temperatures is likely to fall over the east india also from the 2nd of june and similarly on 3rd of june there will not be any heat wave conditions over the any parts of the country and in the week two if you look for the maximum temperatures will be in the range of 42 to 44 degrees centigrade over the northern parts of the rajasthan south punjab south haryana south uttar pradesh northern parts of the madhya pradesh and over the adjoining area the maximum temperatures will be in the range of 40 to 42 degrees centigrade and in the week two the maximum some temperatures will be above normal by 4 by 3 to 4 degree centigrade over the 
entire eastern india and these maximum temperatures will be above normal by about 1 to 2 degree centigrade over some parts of the gujarat state maharashtra and some parts of the uttar pradesh and rajasthan however over the remaining parts of the country these maximum temperatures will be near normal in the week 2 and if you look for the cyclonogenesis then in the week 1 there is no probability for the cyclonogenesis over the neither over the bay of bengal nor over the arabian sea however in the week 2 there is a low probability of cyclonogenesis genesis over the northern parts of the Bay of Bengal which can be seen in this graphic but there is no there is not any there, there is no probability of cyclonogenesis over the Arabian Sea as well in the week 2 for more uh, detailed weather information you can visit the MD website you can follow us on our Facebook page our YouTube channel and our Twitter page thank you